Hello and welcome to another edition of Telescope Man. Tonight uh, we're going to do a little eyepiece demo for some of the beginners over at astronomyforum.net by special request by the way. So with that said, what we want to do today is uh, give the beginners uh, in the hobby uh, just an idea of the differences between certain types of eyepieces so that when they go out to buy one they've got a general idea of the size and what they might look like in the scope they bought and how big they are and how much they might weigh and those kind of things. So, First, let's start out with some one and a quarter inch eyepieces. And I've got a couple here that are not very expensive. They're uh, both Plossel style eyepieces. So here's a little silver Celestron 1.25 inch eyepiece right here. Okay. And take a look at the glass right there. It's pretty good glass. You know, gives fairly reasonably good views in especially slower telescopes like something above, say, F6 or above. They would be just perfectly acceptable to use, these 1.25 inches. All right. As you go up in magnification, too, don't forget that uh, once you get down there around 14 millimeter, 13 millimeter, uh, you're gonna. It's gonna be very hard for you to find a two-inch eyepiece in those kinds of powers, because usually they're all. 1.25 inch once you get up into the higher magnification. So anyway, here's a little Plossel. Now here's another style of uh, Plossel. This one happens to be a 26 millimeter. See, so you really can't tell by the numbers. If some of you are thinking that you can look at the number, you know, 26 millimeter and it's a figure out how big the eyepiece is. This is not going to work. This is not going to work for you. All right, this is a 32 millimeter, and this is a 26 millimeter, okay? All right, you know, they're both basically identical, same size glass, pretty close. You know, obviously the same size barrel. They weigh pretty much the same amount. They're not very heavy. You know, so that's why we usually recommend that beginners buy an assortment of Plossel eyepieces uh, when they first get their scope. And then they can use it as a learning tool on what the different eyepieces uh, actually accomplish when you look at something at night uh, through them. And there's a lot of little kits available, you know, from Celestron or me to whatever, where you get a whole kit of eyepieces. Every millimeter from the smallest to the largest is inside that box. And you can use that kit to kind of teach yourself what the different eyepieces do in your particular telescope. <clears throat> They're not very expensive, uh, especially when if you buy them. Uh, when you buy the telescope, a lot of times, you know, you see them for $99 for the whole kit. Well, normally, you, you, you'll you be hard-pressed to buy one eyepiece for $99, much less six or seven eyepieces. So, go ahead and buy that kit. Just remember, you're not getting the uh, greatest eyepieces ever made, you know, but you are going to get something that's going to be usable to some degree, uh, you're going to want to upgrade at a later date. I can tell you that, but uh, for starters, it's not a bad deal to start off with a little eyepiece kit that comes with a lot of these telescopes. Now I'm going to show you why the numbers don't really mean anything on these 
you can't go by the number to determine the size of the eyepiece, okay? So remember, <clears throat> this was a 26 millimeter plossel, and this is a 13 millimeter Hyperion, okay? Many more elements in the Hyperion than in this plossel eyepiece, okay? Got probably got better glass too probably using what we call uh, extra dispersion glass ED glass at least in this Hyperion it's got very good views and notice this happens to be a 13 millimeter but if I grabbed a 21 millimeter Hyperion it would be identical to this you couldn't tell them apart unless you looked at the number on the eyepiece. It's exactly the same size, all right? And notice it's a 1.25 inch, all right? It's the same size as this plossel right here, see? Exactly the same uh, end piece that goes into the focuser. But here's the neat trick with the Hyperion. We can unscrew this bottom, and it does have an element in it. It has a lens element in it. All right, now all of a sudden, we have a two-inch eyepiece um, that's available to go into the scope, and you can use a two-inch eyepiece. The focal length changes from something like 13 millimeter to 17 millimeter or something like that and uh, a little bit higher numbered focal length. And you can actually have two eyepieces when you buy one. You've got, if you use the bottom and screw it back in, you've got a 13 millimeter. And if you take it out, you've got a two inch eyepiece at a higher millimeter than 13. So if memory serves me right, it's around about 17 or 18 now. Okay, so kind of a really neat trick that the Hyperion folks figured out with this Hyperion eyepiece. Now they make a zoom that's also very highly rated, okay? Personally, I did not go with the zoom. I went with the... Uh, individual eyepieces, you know, in each one, just in, individually, and just pick the eyepieces that I wanted, and did not buy the zoom, although I've seen the zoom at many of our uh, observing events that are around the country here in uh, Dallas area, and a lot of people have that Hyperion zoom, but I never did buy it. I I've looked through it. It's pretty good, but I prefer single eye pieces. And here's a good one. This is a GSO Superview. All right. You can buy these as a two-inch eyepiece. You can buy these, uh, you know, for about sixty-nine, seventy-nine dollars off of uh, Agena Astro Products. That's one retailer that sells them. And again, these are pretty good eyepieces with wide fields of view in two inch sizes that are not very expensive. So if you want to try out a two inch eyepiece and see if it, what it's like in, in your own particular scope, I would recommend that you go out and get a, a 30 millimeter or a, I believe it's a 40 millimeter. It might be 42 millimeter, I don't remember. Uh, GSO Superview eyepiece in two inch sizes, and you're going to be very happy with it for because it's got some very nice wide field views at lower powers. So, uh, uh, you know, this would be one I'd highly recommend if you want to test out a two inch eyepiece and see what you think about it. Um, look up the GSO Superview, just Google that, GSO Superview, 
and you will get this lengths to these eyepieces in various sizes, various millimeter sizes. <clears throat> Be sure you pay attention to the specs of the eyepiece because Superview also makes a one and a quarter inch. All right, so if you looked at the 15 millimeter Superview uh, and bought it and it came in, you would find that it's a one and a quarter inch. It's not a two inch, okay? So you got to read the specs. But I highly recommend these, uh, especially for beginners. You don't have to pay a lot of money. The quality is pretty good, and I think you'll be very happy with it for the 69 or $79 that you would spend to get one of these new. Now, they appear on Astromart. I've said this before. They do appear on Astromart from time to time. Uh, and I've seen them on there for like $45, okay, used. So take a look at the Hyperion line of, let's see if I can get that close enough where you might be able to see it. Hyperion, see it? Look up that brand on the Internet. And the only one that I would tell you to avoid in the Hyperion is the 24 millimeter because it's a different design than all the others. Now, don't ask me why they did that, but uh, the 24 millimeter Hyperion is not the same design eyepiece as all the other ones, okay? And then I would highly recommend their what they call their 31 millimeter aspheric is I believe the name they gave to it, and I would recommend that to you too for a good low power uh, eyepiece that you can then convert to a two inch eyepiece. So two for one, when you buy the Hyperion line of eyepieces, you actually wind up with a one and a quarter or a two inch in one eyepiece, okay? It's got does some other tricks that are kind of neat, like it's got threads for to screw cameras into it and things like that. So I would say this right now, in my opinion, is probably the best line of eyepieces, mid-priced, because you're going to pay over $100 for these, mid-priced, that a beginner can buy and I think you'll be satisfied with uh, every one of the eyepieces in the Hyperion line. So, that kind of shows you the difference between a 1.25 inch eyepiece, right here, and the bigger 2 inch eyepiece. Normally, when I get to about 26 millimeter, I go with 2 inches. And below 26 millimeter, I'll go with 1.25 inch. So it's just a general rule for me. Your mileage may vary. So with that, I'd like to wish you clear skies. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Clear skies, everybody. See y'all later.